All right, today's gonna be, should be an easy day. Um, yesterday I got picked up by the chief of Beaver Dam Fire Department. Um, I got picked up at Kane's Diner or whatever it's called, Kane's Grill. It's still a few miles away from here. Still, it's still part of segments. I think it's whatever segment I was in last. I can't even think of it right now. But uh, I still not finished with that segment. I have about 21 miles until I got to the fire department. But they picked me up, gave me a place to stay, shower. Um, today I'm actually slack packing to Roseboro because they have something going on. The MST does, so I'm gonna do that, make today an easy day. And then tomorrow, I plan to do those 20 some miles back to the fire department. And whenever I do hike out, they'll have about seven miles to drop me off right outside or right at Roseboro. So that's the plan. I probably made it confusing and all that, but whatever. Oh, look at this guy. I like it when the hot horses stop and stare. It's like, what's up, dude? You can come hang out? I'm going to Roseboro, man. You want to come too? Oh, cool horsey. Found these glasses on the road. I was just curious to how I'll see how I would look. Not too bad. I think I look good with them. I can't see worth the damn minute, so they going back down. Back to these babies. It's not gonna be smooth here, but it just ain't happening. Woo! That's more like it. I got two pair of shades, but as y'all can tell. These are the ones coming into Roseboro. Smell the fresh cut grass. Let me tell you. Love it. Yeah, back to it. The guy didn't look too thrilled from a distance. Or maybe it was just me thinking that. Cool deal. Downtown. Packed. Okay. Looks like I came at the right time. The whole road is blocked off. Let's take a gander. Roseboro. All right, all right, about to get my hike on. Um, today, the plan is to hike the opposite direction of the Beaver Dam Fire Department. Go back towards segment 13 that I'm still not complete with. I'm actually gonna break this 20 mile day, or I got 20 miles left, 20, 21, whatever, till I get back to Kane's Diner, but I think I'm gonna break this down into 10 and 10, or. 10 11 however just because i want to make sure i heal properly without taking a zero i kind of feel like even with slack packing if i was to do 20 i would need a zero tomorrow so i'm just breaking it down doing lesser miles but still getting them so cool deal today i'm gonna hit 400 miles yeah and tomorrow will be a month that i've been on the trail so 400 miles in a month pretty cool i'll take it what's up guys i wish i could pet y'all but i don't want to get in trouble you guys are cool you guys want me to come over there and pet y'all. Aww. Get you some 
some of that grass. Cool deal. Entering Sug Mills Pond. Whatever. Too much to say. Game land. That's the one. Sug Mills Pond Game Land. Probably still missed the word. Too much. Gotta suck meals, yo. But after I get out of here, that will be it of segment 13. Finally complete. I'll be caught up with every all the miles. And tomorrow I should be dropped off at Roseboro and moving on. So yeah, that's it. Have a nice day. Maybe I'll get back to you. Maybe I won't. Figured I'd stop and smell the roses. Take advantage of this for a second. Enjoy it. Safety meeting. Cause I'm about to be out this segment in a few months. I reached 400 a couple days ago. Actually yesterday, yay. I'm a little over a third of the way done. Coming up on the halfway point in a couple hundred. Yeah, yeah. The segment right here is saying, fuck you on my way out. <laughs> this segment has been the shortest one so far, but taking me one of the longest to get out of. I mean, I did hike a couple days in the next segment, but you know, still. <laughs> All right, got the truck waiting on me. Cool deal. Heck yeah, trail yeah. Well, Beaver Dam Fire Department, it's been great. Y'all know what time it is. Goodbye, Roseboro. You've been nice. You've been great. A lot of love has been thrown my way. And I like it. But I gotta go. Nice hot one today. Whew. Put on about eight miles so far. I really don't have a plan to where I'm going tonight. I know tomorrow I plan to get to another fire department. I was already told that I was more than welcome to camp there, stay there at the fire department. So that's my plan. Um, when at Roseboro, when I left, I had 20, ooh, 27 miles. Um, now I haven't looked, but I am six six a little over six miles to a convenience store so there's that replenish my fuel whatever hydrate yeah that's it We're starting to notice a little bit of that change Play action coming, coming. Word. So I'm about 21 miles from the fire station. I've done about 14 today. I get to the store, try to hide from what's coming. And I get a phone call from Mr. Gary Brock and they want to get me out of the rain. <laughs> that could possibly be coming 21 miles away and you know still wants to help help out i mean that wow that means a lot 
Here I'm back at the fire department. Here in the back. Or have a safety meeting. Glad they called me and asked me if I wanted to come back. Um Yeah, cause I would have been in the rain. I mean I had a I had, I was at the store. I had a place to cover up. But it lasted longer than the uh the weather forecasting said so I'm glad they brought me back here tomorrow I'll go back and try to hike to the next fire department van crossing or something like that I'll be I'm four, where I'm at is 14 miles away so cool deal <coughs> yeah cool deal. a real final farewell Good zero. Netflix documentaries all day. Even got a blah 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 again. But now it's time to go. About a mile into this bad boy this morning. Already. Don't tell me what to do. Tell me how I should drive. I bet the person that made that sign right there drives drunk all the time. But I got that way to go. Could be possibly going to a Vans Crossing fire department tonight, but we shall see. Who knows? Just chilling, you know. <laughs> this is awesome. Highlight of my morning right here. Just seeing these cows lay down and look at me. Well, thanks about time to stretch my legs there. This cow said, me too. It's time for me to move. <laughs> I'm stupid. Well, this road's closed. I guess I gotta go home now. That's the end of it. Shit. <laughs> I think it's just cause there was a, I don't know. Doesn't fucking matter. Because it's only closed on the bridge. So as long as I can walk across. I'm going. Looks good to me. What's up little dude? What's up bruh? Almost stepped on him. Not really. I was looking at it. I was like man is that a piece of shoestring? I see that head sticking up. Let's go on, bro. Yeah, yeah. You might scare somebody. Not me. Not yet. Until you jump up at me. Okay. Chilling at the Van Crossroads Fire Department. There ain't nobody here. I had to put in a code to get in. That was pretty cool. I'm just hanging out here because I mean couches and I get the best signal here. The deeper I go in, I don't get much, especially in the kitchen. So I'm just hanging here. About to watch a little Fear of the Walking Dead. And that's about it. Well, it's been a cool stay. But now, y'all know what time it is. Ho, 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 what do we have here? Cool. Let's go. Right, all right. Two cups of coffee. And a yellow jacket stacker. Trying to get 20 today. 20 and above. 20 plus. Trying to get out this segment. It's been great. This segment's been a vortex. I could, you know, yeah, I have no, I'm not mad that I stayed at that fire department last night. 
but I felt more obligated than because I'd already contacted them and everything and told them I was coming. But when I got there, nobody there, which is, you know, cool. But there's nobody there the whole time I was there. And the chief gave me the code to get in. So, which is fine, you know, but I felt like I could have did more yesterday, more miles than, I mean, I definitely could have did more than 12.7, 13 miles, whatever. But like I said, I felt obligated to go there. And so I did just make that shit up. Dang, I just saw a big ass fox or something cross the street. Something with a bushy tail and red. It didn't look like a dog, but it looked big enough to be a damn dog. Maybe it was, <laughs> and I'm just seeing shit. Was it copper or was it the hound? I don't know. Just seen a black dog cross the road and go in here. Probably same place that other thing went. So it was either two dogs or a dog hunting a fox. Probably two dogs. Hey, sorry, buddy. The guy at this station here, Marathon, gave me a bunch of chips. Necessarily don't want them or need them at the moment, but at some point I will. And, uh, you know, it's all about the gesture, you know? Seeing these people that want to help, regardless if you need it or not, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Can't really express how grateful I am, you know, for things like this to happen. <laughs> so this is Newton Grove. And all these roads in this town leads to that a roundabout and I was really curious to see what is in the center of this town just a bunch of trees and stuff that's it maybe a cool little park you can sit down and stuff I don't know but it looks pretty lame to me cool I really have no desire to go in there I do with that vending machine now. <laughs> All the shade. Take a little break. Got about nine miles to the campground I'm staying at tonight. So I got a little time. So almost two o'clock. You end up having to go in there after all. Because they only take ones for this drink machine. It's all right. I will be honest though. On the Appalachian Trail, I crave Dr. Peppers and soda all the time. Out here, on this trail, I have been craving you hills And it looks like it ain't gonna take nothing. Just my luck. Dang it. Taking a little stroll through Benton Battlefield. Not sure how far this goes, but it's pretty nice. Having this for a little bit, rather than roads and the sun. But nothing lasts forever. So all of this right here was fog on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. For real though, just imagine two units just facing each other, just fucking going at it. Just fuck. Standing in line, formation. Firing one another. Oh man. War is a lot different. It definitely is. 
for real though. Just imagine two units just facing each other, just fucking going at it. Just fuck. Standing in line, formation, firing one another. Oh man. War is a lot different. It definitely is. For real though, just imagine two units just facing each other, just fucking going at it. Just fuck. Standing in line, formation, firing one another. Oh man. War is a lot different. It definitely is. What's up, dude? Oh, man, my bad. You know, I'm just trying to get a good look at you. But that's cool. Thank you for moving. but he shags a lot. Easy. A little history lesson for you. The flooding of this river right here caused one motherfucker to not be able to attack another motherfucker. Moving on. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to mention that I'm about to be out of this segment. <laughs> So where I'm going tonight, this campground will be it. I'm actually just about to be out of it. So that's a wrap on this segment, baby. Segment 13. The, I don't know, land of agriculture or some shit. I have to look it up. Cool deal. All right, this is the, what is it called? doesn't matter I'm staying here tonight and this is the map like you guys will know but cool deal it's five bucks owner system and uh, there's a bathroom over there because these are locked drink machine Woo! that's what I'm talking about and now I'm going to go find my Tent site. Been a long day. 18 miles. Maybe 19. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. But this is where I'm staying. Because I don't see anybody else. It's supposed to rain. So I'm going to sleep right there on this. Yeah. Cowboy camping, baby. So I roll. For now. There we go with some of that rain. Drip, drip, drop. Drippy, drippy, drippy. Drip, drip, drop. Drippy, drippy, drippy. I just made a new song. Uh, drippy, drippy, dog. see it but this shelter really this little shelter ain't sheltering I mean it don't got any walls so yeah but 
I underestimated it. But that's all right. It shouldn't last too much longer. I'm hiding under the damn table right now. Y'all can't see that shit. But I got my pack on my cover. Got my cover on my mind. I'm actually sitting on top of my sleeping bag right now so that bitch don't get wet. <laughs> oh, man. This is through hiking, yo.